Hey, what's up guys? So today, second figure, <clears throat> we have a second figure from the Origins Deluxe. The one and only E-Man in a standard punch version. Really cool, really cool. As you can see, I have a vintage one over there with this cool action. If you remember the vintage one, you could put caps in the back and when you twist this um, punch, it will uh, pew, pew. really cool. It was a classic, classic. I remember actually having one of those back in time. That being said, this is the, of course, the origin version. Cool, cool packaging as always. Some cool effect. We'll see if it's gonna be able to keep up with the, the myth and the one and the only original one. Um, the only weird thing, if I can point out, uh, of course, is they use it with the Snake Man way, which <clears throat> I don't think makes sense. Personally, I would use a regular packaging, but. It's arguable. Other than that, classic packaging, Snake Man logo. I guess a little weird, if you ask me, but on the back is fighting some snake guards. Really cool, or snake trooper, if you will. We have all these features. The wave, of course. And as always, we're gonna go ahead and unboxing it. I will be right back. And I'm back. So the comic is, of course, the heart of the snake, like we saw in King Gis. As far as accessory, we have an effect, one of those plastic effects we've seen previously in some other figure, like a punch, the thunder punch effect, if you will. Really cool, once you actually install it. There's a shield, and you can set the sword, the gold sword, like the original one, as you can see in the back. Uh, of course, as you can, as far as figure, you can notice there's some Small difference with the vintage one. The vintage one, the hair is more um, orange. The head, at least they use the newer one. That's of course they're gonna use it in the future probably. That's more like a vintage style. It doesn't have the cap effect on the back, but it has a backpack of the original one. And at least when you twist this um, like that, you can see. It. You can kind of simulate, if you will, the sound, but it's not the same thing. But I guess. Better than nothing compared to what they did with other figures like Cobra Khan and put a pump effect or stuff like that. So I guess I'll take it better than nothing. So cool effect, like I said, once you put this thing, flame, whatever you want to call it, even better, even as a dynamic effect, especially if you want to put a display. I like it. I don't see a lot of imperfection in it um, that I can tell. Maybe a little bit of paint here and there, but not that much. Classic Eman, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, cool. I like him. I was a um, Debating, of course, the logo, as you can see, is the older one. <clears throat> I'm if you're getting it or not, but again, as a semi-completist, some figures uh, won't pass. Maybe Sandman or something like that will pass some variants in the future. But these are the ones I grow up in, and I'm going to keep buying them as much as possible. With that being said, it was a quick overview of the Master Universe Origin Deluxe Thunder Punch E-Man. As always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. God bless you. God bless America. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.